Hey everyone, I hope you are well. Today I'll be repotting our plants and sharing with you guys how I reorganize them around our home. I am by no means a plant expert, but I think I've become quite the plant mama over the pandemic and my brother has also moved in recently with his plants. He's got like I think about 10 to a dozen of them and the floor by our balcony doors was getting overcrowded so I figured it was time to do some reorganizing and also repot some of them while I'm at it. Hopefully this will give you some plant decorating ideas for your home and if you've also got some repotting to do, I invite you to join me and we can tend for our plants together. So I started by gathering all of the plants on top of our dining table and evaluating which ones need repotting. And for our soil mix, we're going to be using a potting mix, pumice which provides aeration to the soil and it's going to help retain moisture and allow for better drainage. And we're also going to be using earthworm castings which acts as a really nice organic fertilizer. And while I was prepping everything, my brother googled and wrote down the ratios for me which was super helpful. I started with this baby ZZ plant. This one was definitely root bound. Some parts of the pot were a little bumpy um, and I could also tell because of how tight it was and how hard it was to remove. So before repotting your plant, you want to water the soil a little bit so that it can crumble easily and make it easier for you to remove that plant. So that's what I did, but it was still pretty tough and I ended up having to cut the pot of this one. <laughs> I love the feeling of brushing off the old soil off the plant roots and giving it a larger pot and some new soil. It just must feel so refreshing for that plant. <laughs> I kind of imagine it like getting off the plane after a 13 hour flight and you can finally stretch all your limbs out. Like those roots can now stretch further and get some new nutrients. Honestly, I've been a little lazy to repot my plants and it always just feels like such a big task to set up everything and you have to be prepared to get a little messy. You've got to reserve some time for it as well and especially if you've got a lot of plants. But every single time, as soon as I get into it, I'm reminded of how soothing and therapeutic it is. Like just getting your hands all dirty and playing with the soil and repotting the plant is just such a calming activity. It is also so rewarding and your plants will definitely return the favor and love with their growth and presence. My brother and I joke about how all of our different plants have their own needs and a personality. Like for example, how our peace lily is such a diva because she just droops over whenever she needs water and also requires a lot of it. So for our succulents, we use this gritty mix and this has helped my brother's succulent grow well and so I decided to try it for one of mine. I was also so excited to transfer this propagated string of bananas that my friend gave me a while ago into soil and I made sure that the soil is wet so that the plant isn't too shocked from transferring from pure water to soil. This ivy over here is Serious Hair Goals. Comment below if you agree. I've had this since it was a tiny plant and after repotting it once, it just started growing so fast and it's become so luscious. I'm trying to figure out what to do with this one just because it's growing from all directions. Maybe I'm going to have to hang it up eventually. I'm also in love with my little olive tree. I got this a while ago from Trader Joe's and it was like such a good deal. I forget the price, but Trader Joe's has some really cheap plants and I thought it would fit so well into this clay pot. Cool, so our repotted plants are all up on the shelf and now it's time to give each of them a spot in our home. I knew that this corner right here would be perfect for this snake plant just because it's so long and doesn't take up too much volume. And things might change a little bit after our kitchen reno, but for now, here's where it will go. 
Here I'm just placing my pothos back into where it's always been in this thrifted basket behind our sofa. A week ago, I was shopping at World Market and found this planter. They only had one in this color and it was being used for display and it had a dent in the back so I asked for a discount and I was so happy to receive one and now we've got a home for this little tree. This ficus was leaning a little so I staked the support stick and tied the main stem to it. And then I also went in and dusted off the leaves using a wet towel. I love watching this little tree grow because it was so tiny when I first bought it. This one's also from Trader Joe's and I cannot wait for the day it becomes like literally my height. <laughs> Afterwards, I place these smaller plants that need plenty of sunlight on the windowsill. When placing plants around our home, I try to be very mindful of giving each of them like a spatial moment, if that makes sense. So if they're small, I'll place like two or three side by side. And if it's big like that tree earlier, I'll have it standing by itself. That way, each plant can breathe and has a decorative presence and the home isn't so like visually cluttered. This olive tree was starting to take up a lot of volume, for example, so I decided to move it into our bedroom on top of the dresser by our window. And like I mentioned earlier, this ivy has just become so voluminous and I really couldn't figure out a spot for it. So for now, it's just gonna go on this countertop corner so that the leaves can hang. But I definitely want to figure out some hanging situation for this one. And lastly, I wanted to bring some of my brother's plants into his room so that he can enjoy them in there. There wasn't a good spot for them because his bed and desk are up against the wall with the windows. And he really just has like the windowsill space, which isn't enough for the bigger plants. So we decided to add in these corner shelves right above his desk. These are from Home Depot and they're perfect for like three to four small plants. I love how these bring your eyes up and it adds a really nice touch of greenery to his workspace. And that is it for our plant care and reorganization. I am really happy with how much we were able to declutter that floor area by the balcony doors. I hope this sparked some inspiration to repot, reorganize, or even add in some new plant babies to your home. Real life plants and foliage can really liven up and elevate your space and you can also use them as statement pieces. I think I've got enough plants for now and this reorganization really reminded me to not buy any more plants because like we've got no more space for more. Let me know below if you are a plant parent and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more home decor and lifestyle videos from me. When you do, hit that little notification bell so that you're notified when I upload a video every week. I'm currently working on a kitchen reno project and sharing about it over on my Instagram. So if you'd like to follow along, I'll make sure to add my tag right here. I love connecting with you guys over there. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.